morning, everybody. We have a special show for you today. Um, this is how we start New Year's off over here in South Louisiana. We always have cabbage and we always have black eyes. Uh, black eyes for good health, cabbage for money situations. Supposed to, I don't know if it makes you have more money or maybe sustain what you have. I'm not rich, so uh, I guess you just sustain what you have. But anyway, we, do, we are doing cabbage rolls today, as you can see right here. It is a job. It is a chore, but it is fantastic. When I make cabbage rolls, we probably have about 20 guys over here today. It's a treat. People just show up out of nowhere. I don't know why. I don't know if the word gets around. <laughs> I don't know what happens, but uh, we're probably going to make between 60 and 75 cabbage rolls today for everybody coming to eat. It is a ton of work, but I'm going to show you the secret to this fantastic recipe. And... Uh, I promise you, if you follow it, you will love it. You probably have 20, 30 people show up at your house. So stay, stay tuned. We have everything ready for you in just a minute. All right. The first thing we want to start off with is our meat. And I want to come get a shot in here. I want to show you. We, we bought a chub of meat. Uh, sometimes that chub, people want to season it just like this. But I don't find that you get enough seasoning on there. And we all know Captain Kobe likes to season this food. And that's the key to all of this today. We're going to have a ton of meat mixed up in there, so make sure you season it right. So what we're going to do, we got our pro over here. Back at it again, right? We learning. We learning how to cook, huh, oh, we learning. We learning how to cook. So listen, we're going to smash this down, and I'm going to season it up for them. If you have some help to make cabbage rolls, you're going to need some help. It's a lot of work by yourself. Um, it's actually better to have somebody mixing while you're putting everything together. If not, you want to have all this cut open, ready for you to go to get it all together. It's messy. Kind of a messy cook already, but uh, stay tuned. We'll show you how this goes right quick, like. All right, right here we have three pounds of meat, okay? And we're gonna smash this down pretty good. As you can see, it's gonna be a lot thinner, almost like about a hamburger size right here. All right, that's good, Rick. What we're gonna do is season this up real good. Ground meat is going to be cooking a lot. We're going to season that up, all right? And we're going to come with a little ground pork. Same thing with that. All right. Season this. Okay, and then we have another three pounds. Smash that down too. All right, now we got, now we got our meat seasoned up real well. Now what's gonna happen is you see we got some ground pork and we got some ground meat mixed together. So before we go in our next step any further, I wanna mash that together. So when I when I mix that together, I wanna grab it, I wanna squeeze it while you kinda mashing those two meats together. So Rookie, let's get that smashed up together. Like that, there you go, good. You wanna try to blend that all together as much as you can, that way you have a little bit of the pork and a little bit of that uh, ground meat all together in every single bite. Okay, you don't want one cabbage roll to have mostly pork and the other one mostly have beef. So you want a good blend of that all together. Okay, now we got our meat mixed up together. We got our meat seasoned and we got our pork and beef mixed real well together. What we want to do is, is kind of add our ingredients in that that's going to all go together. So when you make cabbage rolls, all your meat, your onions, your bell peppers, your rice, and what I have right here is I cut some sausage, some rabbit oil sausage, a very good smoked sausage. It gives this a fantastic flavor. So what we wanna do is we're gonna add this on the top, okay? And look, I chopped this pretty fine so that you can fit this in these rolls, okay? You wanna have a little bit of sausage in every bite, just like we have a little bit of ground meat and ground pork together in every bite. You want a little bit of sausage in there as well, okay? And onions and bell peppers cooked up good in there like this, okay? And you gotta be careful with your rice. If you put too much rice in here, it'll kind of suck all your juice up and we really don't want that. We wanna have a good juicy thing. So we're gonna go with about two and a half pieces of rice, not too much. Okay, now, the next secret to fantastic cabbage rolls is, as you can see right now, my meat is dry. 
we want this meat to be wet. I'm gonna show you the difference between wet and what you think is wet, what I like to be wet, okay? So first thing we're gonna start off, one thing of tomato sauce, okay? One hot rotel. One can of tomato paste. I like a, a little bit bigger can. Okay. All right. And this is why it's good to have two people. We've got Probe still here. Go ahead and mix that up, Probe. All right, as you can see, this price mixes this up right here. It looks wet, it's juicy, but it's not wet, wet. So what we're gonna do here, one second there, Price. We're gonna add one more thing of sauce. And I'm gonna show you the difference on how wet looks and juicy looks. All right. As you can see right here, look at the wetness in here. Do you see how much more wet that is? That's gonna make the most fantastic cabbage roll you ever had. That's a promise. Good job, Price. The next phase of cabbage rolls is we got our roll, we got our cabbage um, at the store. The cabbage leaf is really hard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop them in this boiling water and try to loosen this leaf up, make it real soft and pliable. And we're gonna take the meat that we just mixed together, we're gonna dump it in this leaf and we're gonna roll it up. And that's, that's why the process takes so long. They are fantastic, they're unbelievable to eat, they just take a long time to cook. So when you make cabbage rolls, you wanna make sure that you get a leaf. As you can see, we get some pretty nice sized cabbage here. Uh, if you have a little cabbage, you have a little bit of cabbage roll. You want some big cabbage rolls? Gotta have some big cabbage. One of the day. We got a lot of water because we got a lot of cabbage to cook today. All right, we're gonna let this get softened up a little bit. We're gonna get prepped up to where we can start rolling some rolls and mixing everything together. Okay, our head's steaming up right here. So this is the secret to getting your full leaf, okay? So I wanna come on this stem, this stem of the cabbage. I wanna cut this big vein right here. Okay, so as you can see that leaf softening up, it's gonna open up. And you can kinda spin it a little bit and just cut these veins right along that stem right there, okay? And when you cut that, be careful not to burn you. And you'll see, so start cutting. And this leaf's gonna wanna open up. Now, you gotta be careful. When you pull this leaf out, you wanna have enough, you want this leaf firm enough that when you roll it, it's not coming apart. As you can see right here, it's kind of starting to come apart right here. We're gonna be all right. This is gonna be a big leaf. Not general idea of how your thing's gonna be. Okay. All right. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, uh, these leaves that we got, we're gonna cool just for a second. We're gonna put some, some meat in them. We're gonna show you how that's done in just a second. But what I wanna do is I wanna prep. So for my next cuts, I'm gonna cut these veins like that. Okay. What we're gonna do is put our lid back on it and let that steam, and what'll happen is that steam will kind of get inside those veins and they're separated apart. 
this this stem right here or this vein is hard it's hard to roll so what i like to do is i like to cut it off i just cut most of that off right here it's going to actually help you make a good roll okay so what we do is you're going to grab us a good hunk of meat right here okay now listen the size of your cabbage roll and the size of the meat that you grab all depends on the size of your leaf right so as you can see right there, it's going to be a nice pretty big cabbage roll okay and all i want to do is i'm going to just roll this over okay just over like that nice and easy and this is why your leaf has to be a little soft okay i'm going to flip him flip him and roll him all right this is one cabbage roll and this is a very nice size cabbage roll okay and again like i said a lot of that all depends on how big your head of cabbage is so if you have a smaller head of cabbage your cabbage rolls will get a little smaller the only thing good about having a big head of cabbage is as you go down into the cabbage your leaves are still big so you can get probably about 15 to 17 cabbage rolls out of one big head of cabbage so if you're making you know 40 cabbage rolls you know you're gonna probably need about three heads of cabbage we're gonna get to rolling right here Our meal today is going to be black eyes, black eyed peas. Uh, again, that's an old Cajun tradition. Cabbage and black eyed peas on New Year's. I don't know if that's a if that's a nationwide, but I guarantee it's a Cajun tra tradition. So we're going to keep it going as we do every year. Now, when I make my black eyes, I like a lot of smoke flavor in my black eyes. To me, that makes it fantastic. So what we have here today is we have some smoked sausage smoked turkey mix i like smoked turkey necks and all my beans if you say i'm repetitive with that it is what it is it makes it fantastic and we also have some ham hock this fat and this ham hock together with these beans and that smoke flavor it is phenomenal it will knock your socks off i promise you if you have never tried that try this you won't eat your black eyes any other way that's a promise okay listen cooking beans is not really that hard all we want to do is get this water going right here. Get our beans. All pushed up in here like that. Get us a handful of onions. Bell peppers. Okay. And look. I'll tell you about these necks. These turkey necks take a long time to cook. They take just as long as your beans. So when you get this started, you want your necks in there, right? Same thing with these hocks. These hocks will just actually break apart. All that fat will come out in here. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And for the kicker, the smoked sausage. I use some Rabido smoked sausage. It is the heaviest smoke flavor out there. I love it. Okay. All right, now that we got this all together, I'm gonna put the lid on this, we're gonna crank this fire, we're gonna let it work. We're gonna let it cook, we're gonna let it work. Pretty much do it by yourself. Man. Once you get your cabbage head cooking down, you'll see that your leaves will start getting smaller. All right? So this is still a pretty nice size little head. We're gonna just knock this edge off again. And again, you can't have too much meat. It's gonna fill up. So we're gonna lessen our meat and take a little bit. Okay? Get that roll. And roll over. And look, look at the size of this cabbage roll compared to everybody else. What you may want to have is 
You might have two big rolls and you say, I just want a small one. I don't want a big one. I want a small one. Come grab your little cabbage roll over there and eat that like that. That's how we do it over here. All right, as y'all can see, it takes a total team effort to make cabbage rolls. So the more people you have, then off you'll be, baby. Look, if you put too much in here, just throw that back in there. We're gonna, put it, we're gonna fill them all up later. But you know what? I'm using every bit of that meat today. Eight pounds. All right, one final touch for our beans. Now that we got these things boiling a little bit, before these things start to soften up, as you can see, all our stuff's cooking down, blending all well together. All right, I wanna season this up. So, take a look, Captain Colby's. Does this good, All right? I'm gonna let that cook. We got a lot of smoke flavor. We have a lot of seasoning with our turkey necks. They come highly seasoned. So what we're gonna do is we, we're not gonna dust it very heavy. We'll let this cook down and right at the end, I think if we need a little more, whether it be salt, maybe a little more pepper. You see what we need? Docked it up right at the end. Gonna let it cook. Babysit it a little while, come back and check it out. And make some fire calls in between all of that. That's how we do it over here at Station 9, baby. We make cabbage rolls, we make fire calls. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we got our rolls all rolled up. As you can see, we have 61 cabbage rolls. Uh, we're gonna feed probably between uh, 15 and 17 people. I hope we got enough, should be plenty. But anyway, right here, this is the cabbage we have left over. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that a little bit later. And what we did was we took some of this water that we boiled all our cabbage in. It's kind of like a stock and it has that, a lot of cabbage flavor in it. And this is another little secret part of Captain Colby's cabbage rolls. Okay, we're gonna get this boiling, all right? And what I wanna do is I like to make a little sauce. In my sauce, I like my sauce a little thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little, a little roux. This is just some recharged roux. We got it at the store. We don't have time to make a roux today, so we're gonna just use some store-bought stuff. And we don't need a lot, okay? Like I said, we just kinda wanna get this moving and going, help thicken our stuff up a little bit. So we're gonna just use about three little heaping spoons, or don't drop it. That's all we want. We don't want a lot, okay? And also, one big can, tomato paste. Okay, all right. Okay. Clean up our mess right quick. What we wanna do is, when you're gonna make this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cabbage rolls and we're gonna stack them inside here. So you don't want a big amount of water. You don't want those cabbage rolls to start floating. You want them to sit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook a little bit with our roux and we're gonna stir constantly in there. Pick this up. Almost like a sauce piquant beef right here, but. It's the little things. It's the little added extras that make things good, okay? When you do that, to me, you take the extra mile, pay a little bit more attention to detail on what you cook and rather just throw this in some tomato sauce. That gives it all the flavor and all the richness that you need, okay? Well, we're gonna start on this for a minute. We're gonna bring you back in the room. We're gonna stack everything up and show you how we lay that up. Okay, now that we got our sauce cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna show y'all that it's not very thick. You just probably have about you know, maybe half inch of liquid on the bottom. But we got our roux. 
Now tomato sauce cooked down. Almost like a sauce piquant. Gravy right here, okay? And what we're gonna do is, just gonna layer these rolls in here. Just like this. Just like this. And you wanna kinda mix them up. You don't wanna have all big giant ones on the bottom. You can try to get you some little ones down there too. Okay? And look, sometimes when these leaves right here are loose like that, stack these in here tight where they kind of squeeze in there and they won't un undo your leaf as you're cooking them. Okay? There we go. This is just the right amount of water. All right? Now we got that good and tight in there. Let me find me a little one. Make that tight, everything tight in there. All right? Okay, now that we have one layer of cabbage rolls down, this is what I like to do. We'll take a little roll tail, just dabble that in there a little bit, okay? Sauce. Okay, do a little bit of paste in between here. Not a lot, just some little things so that can ball out as it's going. Okay. All right. And a little sausage. All right, that's going to hit that gravy fantastic. And what we do after that, we just keep repeating that sequence, right? see we did this a couple of times before because we know 65 60 what one cabbage rolls fit in here perfect we're gonna dock this up one last time sauce and this last layer of sauce I want to cover that whole roll okay that whole roll like that that way this don't dry out it's gonna steam yeah, that's how we love okay look at how beautiful all right now that we have this ready, we're going to put this in the oven on about 400 degrees, 350, 400 degrees. We got about two hours worth of cooking. So before you put this in the oven, you want to make sure you see we have this on a medium fire right now. We are already starting to cook. We got that, that juice already cooked. You don't want to take that to take an hour before it's cooking. So you want to kind of have that boiling already before we put that inside the oven. And all we're going to do is preheat our oven. I'm gonna go 400, okay? We'll preheat that oven to 400. When she's ready, this should be boiling. Cover it, let it set. I like mine to go two hours. Uh, when you let it go two hours, all that leaf softens up real good. All those flavors blend together. Listen, please try this. It will knock your socks off, that's a promise. People don't just show up over here because it ain't good. They show up over here because it's phenomenal. And speaking of phenomenal, hold on one sec, let me get something. Let me show you what my boy did for me today. Bam! Look at that right here, huh? Everybody knows Captain Cooper's food is phenomenal. So, one of my Christmas presents from my producer, my editor, my filmer, 
got me this apron right here. Now I can get all that tomato sauce and all that stuff off my stomach right here when I'm cooking, right? I got me an apron. Everybody knows when they walk in, the food's gonna be what? Thank you, man. Thank my cooking. All right, what we have over here, we try to uh, not waste any food, especially as Cajun people. We try, we work hard for our money, and we don't want to throw this away. So what we have left is these small leaves that we really can't make a leaf with, or some bad leaves that kind of split up, and uh, you can't make a, a roll out of it. So what we're going to do with that is make some smothered cabbage, right? Waste not one. Now, that's how we're going to do this. We're going to cut this up, throw this in here, make some smothered cabbage, cabbage rolls, black-eyed peas, corn grits, Knock your socks off. Hey, listen. Sometimes I told you when we cook these cabbage rolls, we get people come from all over. Now we got a guy extra today. Look at this kid. Look at him. You can tell he has not been at Station Nine. Look at how skinny this boy is. We gotta feed him up. We gotta fatten him up, right? He gotta eat with us today. But before, you gotta wash dishes. Do your keep. Earn your keep, baby. All right, we have Chief Jason Johnson with us here today. Thank you for having me, bro. Anytime, baby. Listen, we're gonna, uh, we'll be our taste tester for today. So, would you go ahead and taste these beans? Show you that stick on the bottom right here. A shot of these beans for us. Yeah, Look at that. That, that, is Isn't that, good. that is amazing. Try that. Blowing that good. How you start out the new year. Over here in South Louisiana, we don't do our New Year's resolution on January the 1st, we do it on January the 2nd. So we can eat this on January the 1st, right? That's how you do it, baby. Captain Kobe's gonna make his plate. I'm gonna enjoy this. Bring it in the new year right. Why don't you cook some cabbage rolls, corn grits, smothered cabbage, and black eyes, and bring the New Year's in with me. Enjoy it. Happy 2020, baby.